guys, girls, and now by hey guys, girls, and now by pals to SMI. Today's new story is going to be Naruto slash BHA. In this story, Sasuke Uchiha is dating the Sasuke Uchiha male Midoriya reader. In this story, Midoriya's older brother, Tony Midoriya, disappeared from a villain attack and reappeared in the, in the front of the leaf village. When him and Sasuke Uchiha met up and fall in love with each other. I hope you guys enjoy this series of stories. So this is part 101. Let's get going. Tony was doing my own business Walking around the same outfits, Japan. When you hear that an elderly woman lost her, got her purse snatched by a purse snatcher. Being a hero for Japan, he ran after the woman's purse to mail that was still the woman's purse. Not finding out that he was going to get on the bleeding, trapped in sad portal. The male laughed while summoning a portal with a squirk, summoning the hero into the portal. The hero tried to escape the portal, but the portal kept pulling him under. Once the hero magically ended up in another world, the hero tried to everything in his mind to get back to the real world and manifest to Japan. But he couldn't. Somehow his quirk wasn't working, but some sort of other power showed up for him. He looked around the forest area and saw a village. He walked to the village and saw two men guarding it but sleeping as always. He thought back through one another his psychics would sleep when they were supposed to guard it as a security. Toy sighed and tapped the desk like he did for his two sleep headed security of psychics. The two males woke up and looked at the male and was like, Here are you from? Who are you? They said. Um, I fell into a portal and I ended up here. The two looked at each other and looked back at the hero. How? The quirk and where I come from, quirks will what make us who we are. But somehow my quirk disappeared and I got ear powers. Even if you call it powers. Ninjutsu, the one that the males said. Come with me, I'll show you to Lord Third. The male said, getting up and making Tony follow him. Tony sighed, but followed the male into the, the village. Everyone looked at the young man in this weird outfit, thinking, who is this man? Why is he here? Is he going to harm them? The hero shook his head no as to say he's not here to harm anyone. Once they got to the third cog's office, Team Seven was still talking with Lord Seven, Lord Third. Toy side way for this to end differently while well, the others turn around to see him in great instance. It is, Lord Third said to the Boo and the Team Seven. Who are you? Name's Toy Midoriya. In my, my, my world, there was this Work you to that summer portal there and sucked me in. I guess I end up in your world. I lost my quirk, but I gained your powers. You mean chakra? Yeah, you can say that. So, um, what shall I do here? Lord Third thought of stuff that this male can do. Sasuke started looking intensely at the male. His heart went pear, patter, pear, patter, we in uh, like a drum. Sasuke saw the male look at him. His eyes flashed crimson like a shaking wood, but different. Who are you? Sasuke asked. Sasuke looked at the male, pointing at him. Nim Sasuke Uchiha, are you? Midoriya, Tony. And where I come from, you use your last name, then first name. Ah, sorry. Uchiha Sasuke. Sasuke now clarified. Thank you. Tony said, smiling. Sasuke's heart kept pure power and he felt blush coming on. Why is this my male doing to me? Sasuke thought. 
No woman ever did that to him, but to what this male Sasuke felt different. The male sighed and looked at third. Do you have anything for me, or should I go to the next village? Lord third put his hand up. I have some stuff you can do for us. Lord third said, you can help the village in Patanet. That is what you're here to see what it looks like. I'll say they know where I come from. Yes, I learned of history novels, of heroes in skimpy outfits. Now I mean midnight. I'm sorry, Red Butter. The third laughed and thought back to how this hero acts. I guess you are who you are, Almighty. The Team Seven was shocked with Lady Abu. The Great Almighty was here in front of them. Someone with great stature and no way to law above power. And the only law about that villains and heroes are as equal in nature. The hero sighed and said, yeah, that's me. So what's to it? Sasuke blessed more. His heart went thump, 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 right in his chest. His heart picked up more pace and thought more about this male. Naruto got his stands ready to fight him. I'll be Hikage and I'll fight the great almighty. Toei flicked Naruto and Sim to a wall. I said enough. Does it look like I want to fight you, twerp? Naruto got up with Melee and tried to attack. Flicked again and ended up in another wall. Sorry, I'll pay for the damages. Lord Third shook his head. It's Naruto that has to pay for the damages. Either just try to stop him from injuring himself. As always, Lord Third looked. Kids like the stage want to fight me and see who's powerful. But they forget that their power craving ends up making them get injured. Lord Third looked and Naruto still attached to the wall. Don't worry, he'll get out of here and come attack me again. Three, two, one. Naruto got unhurt himself. Out of the wall and jumped into the air trying to attack him. One more thick to the wall and he was stuck there. It looks like he'll be stuck there for good. Make sure when I'm gone you can pull him out, alright, you team seven? Toy waved his head by and by walking out. Lord third sighed and in the cave for team seven to do what it was said. Once Naruto was out, Naruto looked everywhere for uh, Almighty. Where is he? Naruto asked. He left knowing that you were going to talk to him again. Jeez, he's showing weakness. He's showing that he doesn't want to hurt you anymore. Idiot, Sasuke said. His heart still pitting and powdered from how strong that hero is. Now, as Jim Seven, I was going to tell you for the mission, but since Naruto disturbed everything with a f trying to fight the Great Almighty, Lord Third said, You will be doing a lesser mission than the one I was recommending you to. Not to decide, Gray, a kid's mission. That's what you all get, that's what you get for trying to attack the Great Almighty, Sakura said. Hey, shut it, Sakura. It's not my fault I wanted to see if Almighty was powerful. Shut it and dweeb, Sasuke said, slapping. Naruto in the head. Ow, what was that for? Naruto said. Just shut it for once in your life, Sasuke said. Once they got the mission, they hated what they were doing. So they came back to Lord Third to get what he needed to do. He got the mission that Team 7 was supposed to go on and went to the area they had to go. Once it was done, he brought the bounty to Lord Third. And gave it to Lord Third, which Lord Third was shocked that the bounty was alive, not dead. I don't kill people. I just bring them alive. They knew who I was and they gave themselves up. Lord Third smiled and gave Tolly a boot to take him to the mail to prison, which the mail complied when Tolly gave the look. Me and Death would be arriving if he did not comply. The mail walked out with the abu. Hey to the jail cells. Lord Third gave the amount of money for that uh, mail. And the watchers truly walked out. Thanks a lot. 
and the other thing just call. Let that smile and then continue doing paperwork. Once those villagers were shocked at the amount of the money Tony got from the one bounty. Tony sighed and walked, continued walking, and gave it to a poor person living on the streets of Conahawo. Here, you need more than I do. The old man looked. But why? I'm a hero. I give what I earn to someone that you need. So take it. The old man took the money and smiled. You are for one great, great soul, Mr. Midoriya. Just call me Midoriya. That's my last name. Thank you, sir. The old man said, smiling, taking the mo heap of money and walking away. To find himself a real home instead of living on the streets of Kalahana of the Lee Village. To his side, looks like I'm out of money now, but that's only the reason why I wanted to help people. To give people who are on the streets free will to live. All my youth looked through the sky, it was getting dark, so I saw on the old man's spot. It's going to be safer than out there in the forest. Tony sighed and laid his head back on the building. What am I even doing here? Why did that villain send me here anyways? Tony said, looking out. The villagers see him sitting there. I think the old man was going to be still there. People thought it was weird seeing a younger male there instead of an old man. they have been there for years. Tony just shook his head and sat there. Watching as people pass by, look at him shockingly that the old man was in there. Tony just shook his head. These people shouldn't get a one, two in the head to understand that looking at people differently is not right, that people are equal in so many ways. Hope you guys enjoy part one.